way of the seeded players so far. And Peter Wright reckoned to be the man who's like most likely to win if Michael Van Gerwen doesn't. Damon Hatter, the 33-year-old from Perth. The time difference, it meant he had to play in the middle of the night. Peter Wright, now 50 years old. World champion, of course, and you look at his earnings over the last couple of years, and that's by the legend that is Sid Woodell. A weep and a by, wibble. There you go, there's just a soft release and a, and a very well balanced start, of course. I remember, uh, I remember when we 500 grand he picked up for winning that, it really stands out. Seeded number two for this one, and there are a fair few people around who. There you go. There's a, a little bit of a wheat and a little bit of a, a wibble. All hundred and thirty. We can look at Peter's very little movement left or right. That's a sign All of a one. very clean. sort of sums up what we've missed doesn't it well as soon as it happened we both looked yeah. at each other and thought yeah we're back we're back absolutely he still doesn't know all the words but it doesn't matter we're back <laughs> yeah looking forward it's to Darryl this Gurney who I think by his own extremely high standards has had a up and down year yes he certainly has normally in this event the players who've played the Gerwin Price is absolutely on top of his game at the moment. Let's see if he can translate what we saw in the week in Germany in the autumn series. He's enjoying it, he's pain-free as well. We know that uh, a back injury nearly forced him to quit the sport altogether, so every tournament's a bonus. Um, every tournament, he's First played consistently. It's a little bit of a moan, should we say, occasionally, Vincent. He'll be the first to admit that, but we've seen a few more smiles on the face, simply because he's injured. Well. Yeah, it's good Game to see him playing well, and good to see him playing well with a smile on his face. He's a, a very popular player all Series. over this. Uh, day one, last 64, 6 3 to Sedlicek, averaged 85. Day two. Lost to Ross Smith, last 64, 6 5, with an 86 average, day three. Yeah, it was, but he, you know, he kept it together. Steve, Steve's had that amazing longevity as a professional darts player, won the BDO title all the way back in 1996, and that's testimony to that wonderful. You need coming into the first televised tournament back with a crowd. And Steve threw well last night against Simon Whitlock. Good match that one late on for those of you who stayed bit up of late. A, bit of a slow burner, wasn't it? 5 0. And Steve Beaton, well, he stayed on stage practicing during that break, but he is just way off where he'd want to be, averaging 75, and he hasn't had a single dart so far. That's a double. Yes, he's had a, an absolute shock. For, for lots of reasons. Durrance has had, certainly in their TV appearances, much the better of, of Michael Van Gerwen. 
And he is in good form, but it qualified for the first time for the playoffs. Yeah, real, real surprise that was. Derek top of the pile, and Michael Van Gerwen missing. And that's what's happening at the moment to Michael. After night seven, Stuart, in the Premier League, he was top of the table. After it finished, he was sixth and never... We are in the middle of a titanic tussle between uh, Messrs Van Gerwen and Durham. All five legs have gone with throw. Uh, Michael Van Gerwen at the Six moment leading 3-2. Glenn Durant, because he knows that was a big opportunity to put the pressure on. Ratajski maybe has just had the edge over the last year or so. Michael Smith, now 30 years old, still looking for his first major televised... Absolutely, title. he's like a... It's like an assassin up there, isn't he? Fairly silent one, he's... Uh, yes. Doesn't say a lot. Well, he has really surged through. Rapid rise in the, in the rankings. Lost to players' champion. One good... Trouble 20, just about surrendered there. <laughs> White flag. Ratajski storming across the line and having the lead, but only on throw. It's a, his three Game winning one. legs are in 16, 13 and 14. The two winning legs for Michael in 17 and 15. It's a championship final in Germany to go in price during the week. And the pole really is... A very good player, great temperament, Chris. Yeah. The floor absolutely. up in front of the TV cameras. You're looking at a top four player here. Absolutely. Tee -hee. <laughs> but yeah, he's looked solid, hasn't he? He's, he's averaging, I see, 99.99. 1180, that lovely 170 to set up the double eight. And it could be, and should be, uh, an absolute cracker. Of course, it's uh, first to 11 in the semi finals and finals. Uh, Peter Wright, who has won Nathan Aspinall. And both of them are really in good form. And you have to say that at the moment, Alan, Damon Hetter and Daryl Gurney have been very comfortable. Gerwin Price, who's never even reached a final of a World Series event. But this may be his moment, this may be his night. Uh, three World Series events. But has been beaten twice in the World Series finals. And he is in really good form. And to be fair, both wins over Damon. It's a toss-up for who is the best player in the world at this very moment. Is it right? Is it Price? I totally agree, Stuart. And Stuart First leg. in Salzburg in Austria. And it's the Welshman Gerwin Price who is dominating thus far, uh, averaging 101 uh, against Peter Wright and leading by four legs to one. And we were talking about the, the speed of the game. And Peter yes, I'm still that break behind. But I'm only two legs behind. Lovely action there, hardly any movement at all. 180! Six 180s for Peter Wright. 80. Good position now. Just a little movement on the back leg, but apart from that, it's a lovely throw, isn't it? Going for the ball, maybe. Yeah. 105. Good thinking. 116 gives him two darts out of trouble. He admits that uh, he's got a little bit of interest back for this one. Rob Cross, there you see. Steve Beaton. Michael Smith, his two victories so far, and signs that Rob starting to find some of his best form. Going to be a difficult man to beat in this match, James Wade. The winner here in this event two years ago. The bookies can't split them, Chris. Oh, I'm not surprised. Uh, I can't split them on Chris previous Lang, performances. James They're fifth seeded five. Wadey from 
Hold the shot, beat Jeff Smith in the first round, the Canadian. And signs that he is going to... Wade, normally so strong on double ten, naught out of six on that side. Yeah. Naught out of three on 20s. This is two favourite double. Wade averaging 77, cross averaging 75. And what they're doing, you see, because neither one is, is kicking on, so they're... You can sort of drag each other down and or drag each other along. I think if one of them if one of them kicks, the other one will follow. And on a finish, will that be the moment perhaps to start to ignite the match? One hundred. Well, he doesn't need to get. throw to the good. And if you're just joining us, you perhaps don't know that Gerwin Price won the first semi-final against Peter Wright. And what a fantastic standard there. 9 one is for Wright, 4 for Price, 4 one seventy-sevens to add to that. Gerwin Price averaging 102, throwing superbly on his own throw. Six Peter Wright two, averaging 108. Um, the first one was the European Championship final last year when Rob Cross won. His third big TV major beating Gerwin Price 11 6, of course, after the World Championship and at the World Match Play. He comes here as uh, very much the underdog in this final. But it's a different time, it's a different game, and uh, Rob Cross knows he has to play a lot better than he did in just getting the job done against James Wade in the semi finals. But for Gerwin Price, is it in his destiny to win another one? A fifth television final in the last 12 months. And he has looked superb today. Edged out Nathan Aspinall in a thriller. But that performance in the semi-finals up there with one of the best of the year against Peter Wright. First to 11 to win the World Series Finals. Well, he'll Bella certainly be full of confidence, to Stuart. Game on. Controlled. Price averaging 108, 13 points more than his opponent. But the final is on throw, thanks in the main to a brilliant 144 finish in the opening leg from the former world champion Rob Cross. But we're getting the final we wanted. There's the, the throw of the former world champ with a little kick. But it's a little effective, isn't it? That's good timing. Not much movement on the throw of the Welshman. And yet again, pins the two treble 19s. Well, we said Cross had to increase his average. It's just slightly under 100 at the moment. A little bit less after that visit. But he can't afford to go too far behind against Price. We saw what happened oh, to Peter not. Wright, who then threw the kitchen sink at Price, but didn't quite get anywhere, to be honest. This is, oh, this is superb, absolutely superb.